A new session of Congress gets underway tomorrow, and the first item on the agenda is electing a new Speaker of the House. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has been struggling to get all the votes he needs, and CBS, uh, CBS 2's Nicole D'Antonio explains why tonight from Capitol Hill. Republican leader Kevin McCarthy wouldn't say whether he'll need to cut more deals to be the next Speaker of the House. I hope you all have a very nice evening. McCarthy held a conference call with House Republicans Sunday making concessions in order to win more votes for the speakership. He agreed to rule changes, including the ability of any five members of the majority party to initiate a vote to remove the speaker. He also agreed to establish select committees to investigate President Biden's COVID and border policies and to reviews of the FBI and DOJ's investigations into former President Trump and the January 6th riots. He stood there in front of the conference and went through item by item and helped negotiate a rules change package that was broadly uh, endorsed, including changes that I personally wouldn't have done. Most Republicans support McCarthy, but the GOP holds such a narrow majority in the House, he can only afford to lose four votes before falling under the 218 vote threshold to win the speakership. If five or six people hold out, all we're really doing is empowering the other side. One Republican who says he will support McCarthy is embattled New Yorker George Santos. The Long Island congressman-elect is under scrutiny after admitting much of the biography he presented to voters is false. This is a decision, whether he resigns or stays, that needs to be made between he and the voters who elected him. Uh, he's certainly going to have to consider resigning. Santos says he plans to take the oath tomorrow, though he could face ethics charges once he's sworn into office. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now, New York state and federal prosecutors say they're also investigating Santos's finances.